In this video, I'm going to show you how you can combine time-lapse footage with real-time footage using masking in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So before we jump into Adobe Premiere, it's really important that we have the correct footage in order to do this effect. Now, traditionally, when you do time lapses, you want to set your digital SLR camera to stills mode and then take photos every 10 seconds or 20 seconds. And then you basically need 25 photos for one second of video. And of course, you can still do that same method, but it's really important that your camera can also shoot video as well because you need to shoot video and time lapse. So the easiest way of doing this is to just set your camera down, set it into video mode and leave it rolling for however long you want your time lapse to run for. So in my example, I only left this running for four minutes, but the clouds were moving quite quickly during this day. So this should be enough to create a great time lapse. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the real time video on the bottom of the frame and then I'm going to speed up the clouds to create the time lapse at the top. Of course, though, if you were doing this the other way, the more complicated way, you would capture your time lapse using your still photography. Then you'd flick to video mode, make sure the camera doesn't move and then capture your real time footage. But I'm going to show you how to do the other way, the lazy method, where you just leave your camera rolling for an extended period of time and you're just combining these two elements together. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and as you can see, this is my footage. So I've got four minutes of video, the camera is locked off and as you can see, the clouds are moving up here and then you've got this river down here. So first things first is I want to figure out what part of the video I want in real time. And I think this boat passing across the bottom of the frame is the perfect moment for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut at that specific moment in time when that enters the frame. So we'll cut there. Then we'll just play back the video and we'll just wait for this boat to pass across the bottom of the screen. There you go. That should be enough. Then we'll just cut there. And this is our real time footage. So I'm going to take the bottom half of this real time video and then I'm going to speed up the rest of the footage to create the time lapse effect. So I'm just going to drag the time lapse footage onto video layer two. We'll take our real time footage and drag that to the very beginning. And then we'll just extend that time lapse footage over to the right again so that we get the entire duration of that footage. And we'll delete that last section just there. So as you can see, our video down here, our real time video is 13 seconds. So let's just shorten that to make life easy for ourselves. We'll just cut that in half and we'll just use the last half of that. So we'll drag that to the very beginning. And as you can see, we've got 624, six seconds and 24 milliseconds worth of real time footage here. So essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to speed up the time lapse footage, the layer above to six seconds and 24 milliseconds. So we'll just right click that footage. We'll go to speed slash duration. And then you basically want to change the number here in duration to the same duration as the footage below. So in this example, it was six seconds 24 milliseconds and press OK. So both of those should be the same length now. Of course, though, at the moment we haven't done any masking. So all we've got here is just this time lapse. We won't see the real time footage underneath for the moment. As you can see, this is what the time lapse footage looks like. It looks great, but we're only interested in the top half of this footage. So we're just going to go ahead and select the fit and we'll zoom out to 50%. Then with the time lapse layer selected, you want to go into opacity and select the free draw bezier tool. Then we're just going to draw a mask around the top half of that frame. So let's go for here, 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 here and here. There you go. Make sure, by the way, that this doesn't overlap the real time footage underneath. So as you can see in my example, it's getting a little bit close. If I wanted to add some mask feathering, then unfortunately that would start to bleed into the real time footage. So I'm just going to pull the bottom of this mask up a little bit just to give us enough of a safe distance between these two layers. And then, like I said, we're going to increase the mask feather just to blend these two. So we'll go mask feather and we'll increase that to 200%. And that should smooth that out enough not to see the blend between these two shots. And there you go. You can see we've got our time lapse footage and our real time footage now merged together in Adobe Premiere Pro. And honestly, this looks great. Of course, if you wanted to have somebody in the bottom of the frame doing an action and have the clouds in the top moving fast, then you just get somebody to act out the action in the bottom half of the frame. But if you did want somebody to overlap the time lapse footage, then that's where we're going to have to start introducing rotoscoping and After Effects would probably be better suited for that. So for these more simple cases of merging time lapse and real time footage together, this 
is exactly how you would do this method. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.